Hello and welcome back to The Founder. I'm your host, Tasha Sajal. And with me, I have yet another guest talking about new startups right here on The Founder. With me is Samakya. How are you doing today? Hi, I'm good. Awesome. Okay. All right. Uh, so tell me about yourself. Um, so I'm an athlete. Okay. And I actually started my own company, Brand, with my friend Oshara. She's a dietitian. We started an online platform for health and wellness. So that's basically our main thing right now. Okay. The three pillars, exercise, sports, uh, exercise, nutrition, and support. So um, taking it back, you know, were you always into health and uh, wellness? Uh, I don't think I looked at it as health and wellness, mm -hmm. but I was definitely into sports, activities. I actually did dancing. I was a very active kid since I was small. So I took up rowing and water polo as my two main sports. Then when I left school, I still dealt into like elite, a lot of rowing. And I was coaching throughout my life since like five years now of coaching. And then finally during Corona, I decided to start our own brand called Samakya. So yes. So how was it for you like during the whole uh, pandemic period? Was it tough, you know, to get clients and everything else? So I was actually working separately with another company coaching and during the pandemic, I guess I had like a deja vu moment where okay. I was like, you know, you know what, I think I want to start my own thing. And I had a few friends who were like, okay, we'll support you. We'll make the website. And then I met like my dietitian, my partner. We were like, we'll do it together because mm -hmm. that'll bring two professionals in it. So yeah. the nutrition and exercise, which is equally important. Yes. So I think it actually brought me more opportunities. Of course, it was tough, but it brought a lot of opportunities. And it was, I guess, when hard times comes, you either break or you get made through. Right? Exactly, and and I, I guess a lot of uh, a lot of people felt like the pandemic gave them a whole new perspective on Definitely. life. Definitely. And uh, well, tell me about uh, you know what you relied on in terms of your marketing strategies. Um, honestly, I relied on a lot of organic marketing, a lot of support from friends, and my current Instagram followers and fans because that is even currently that's my main marketing strategy because everything is driven through that because we haven't spent anything actually up to date on marketing everything has been organic so I am so thankful for everyone on my Instagrams my TikTok everyone on social media who has supported me people who I know people I don't know who've like really being supportive and sharing and joining along with our journey. Okay, that's so, uh, you know, assuming that I am a new client and I want to uh, get in touch with you and I want to lose weight, it's all based online, is it? How does that really work? Okay, so we have different uh, pr products of different packages. So the most easiest and basic is we have online group classes Monday to Friday at 7 p.m. Then we have personalized packages where we give nutritional and exercise guidance. So it's done. Uh, you can check out our website. It's www.smkya.com. Pronounce it Samakya though. And um, you go in, you'll get all the information about our packages and you can register. Um, the personalized things are mainly to suit your lifestyle. So we have different clients. We have musicians and then we have businessmen. So each one's like, oh, their working hours are different. So we cater for them and we give them workout plans and diets, which are sustainable and practical, rather yeah. than giving like meal plans or something yeah. that is just not sustainable. We okay. try to instill habits. Awesome. And the diet plans, uh, you said it's done by with your friend, right? Yes, so she's a dietitian. We try not to go to the traditional way of saying, eat this for breakfast, eat this for lunch. Yes. What we do is we try to have actually a personal relationship with our clients, it's very personal. We try to uh, bring in uh, habits into their lifestyles. Okay. So we try to resolve problems on why they're having these issues or why they're binge eating. Sometimes it is emotional things that cause their right. lifestyle changes, their diet. So we try to help them out on bringing sustainable habits so that for the longer run, they'll be healthier. But if, of course, in the short run, it'll be you won't see drastic changes but it's much more sustainable and better right awesome so that that's actually really good because uh, a lot of people a lot of cases um are the clients they might have different types of uh, diets that they would need right basically uh so not everyone can have the same diet right of course like 
also it what might work for me might not, not work, work for you exactly like from genetics to medical conditions to a lot of things sometimes it's a psychology right like yeah i might need my sugar so then i might need to give up on something else and like it's a process each one is different so yeah it's very you can't it's really tough to give a strict diet to someone and expect them to have it on a long-term basis and right. i think most of us are used to such instant results exactly i think with technology and time yeah we all get tempted to that four week results six week results but we don't realize that what comes fast goes fast exactly those are a lot of gimmicks that you see online yeah. as well like lose this amount of weight in four weeks. you could do it you really could do it it's just whether it is actually beneficial for you and whether it will help you live the lifestyle you want to right yeah So Samakia tell me obviously uh everyone goes through challenges when it comes to startups uh is there any that you have faced and was it any difficult for you um the opportunity was also the challenge for me the fact that it was on lockdown okay was what gave me the idea and the deja vu moment or whatever to start it was also the biggest challenge because <laughs> I mean to start a video to do whatever I did not have a videographer I didn't have proper equipment literally it was like DIY at home oh. <laughs> just try everything out depending on friends calling up hey guys could you help me out yeah. like share this so that was the difficulty of me being my own videographer marketer <laughs> everything in one go cuz there were people who could help but the space and like there was we couldn't share equipment we couldn't do those things okay. so those are difficult so that was the biggest challenge okay the and restrictions of lockdown of lockdown yeah yeah but you made it work yeah i mean it wasn't just me i must say there was a lot of people from everyone on my instagram to my friends to family who actually got on board oh that's amazing mm-hmm. so you had the main support of your family and friends i think that is definitely mainly what i had cuz um it takes a lot of courage to start something that is not in the norm yes like not to start a proper like a business yes. or you know a 5 job or 9 to 5 job to go out of the cultural thing and start your own thing is a bit tough cuz people question and say yes. can you make a living out of it yeah. is it really practical so yeah but that support was really important for me awesome and uh, was there ever um a time in your career now that you've actually started uh you know um where you actually had to make a hard decision um mm, i guess the hard decision was quitting my job early and starting by myself okay but i think the toughest decisions i have had in my life when it comes to in the sporting exercise industry was when i did uh rowing and water polo. All right. I okay. was in the national team of both. Okay. But it oh, wow. came to a standstill that if I had to take one sport to the next level, I might have to give up the other or yeah. not give as much. Right, right, right. Because oh, they're imagine. both national level and it both took a lot of commitment. And I think the hardest part for me was to decide saying, okay, I'm not going to go with water polo into like as much as I'm going with rowing. It was really tough because water polo was more of a team sport for right. me where rowing was I did it individually right okay but i guess that i mean it was nothing to do with the team or anything but i felt like my passion was in that sport yeah but i loved my team they yeah. supported me and they supported my decision of course i uh, didn't throw up to stop the national team i still played for my school up okay. until i left school up until my last year but that was the hardest decision was to actually pick one sport or one thing to continue in oh wow so did... you went with the um rowing is yes. it yes oh wow oh i can imagine <laughs> that was a really tough decision yeah yeah but uh it, it made you somehow right yes and my team was so it was so supportive they understood that it was nothing to do with the team mm-hmm. and it was actually i loved them and they really were supportive with my decisions and also the reason why i really wanted to play for my school for the team while i still did national rowing awesome so obviously your friends are still there with you uh now when it comes to um of course moving forward right what do you hope for for your brand um i hope to build a community of people who instilled healthy habits and lifestyle that that'll help them achieve their goals right mm-hmm. so it's not about 
them being this ideal figure or ideal healthy whatever but something that helps their body take them to their goal does it make sense for yeah. you to be fit enough yeah. to do present yeah you know if it's a singer to be fit enough to sing on stage and perform exactly. yeah and have a community out of that where we connect with something common um if i wasn't starting my brand i would still be in the industry and i'll still be coaching and i'll be coaching athletes or recreational i'll still be in the industry but maybe not under my brand Yeah, I'm also curious as to know like is there anyone that you look up to, anyone that you admire? Like for instance, if you had the opportunity to sit at dinner with someone, a founder of your like who would be? I don't know a founder, but I can tell someone I really like. Okay. So, I don't know if you know, but I love dancing. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Okay, And so I you're love, into dancing too. That's Yes, good. I I I love dancing. Like okay. that's like my second passion. Okay. Uh So I think Shakira, I love her. I mean, she's fit, she's hot and she dances. I love her dancing. Yeah, obviously. I mean, Shakira has to be in your dancing list. <laughs> and I'm glad she's on the top. And is there any kind of inspiration for anyone out there? You know, someone might be watching it right now saying, uh, "Oh, I want to be just like you. I want to start my own thing. I love fitness." Uh is there any kind of advice that you would actually give? If they say they want to be like me, I'll be like, "Don't be yourself. <laughs> be the best version of yourself." Yeah. Because if you try to be someone else, you'll always be one step behind because mm-hmm. you're trying to catch up to them. Mm-hmm. But if you try to fix yourself and be the best version, you're better off. You'll always be ahead. Yeah, that's And good. about fitness, this is what I always say. Okay. You don't you don't need to be great to get started but if you you need to start to be great. Oh wow, that's, that's a good one. I haven't heard that one. <laughs> like I that was something that kept me going. That's really throughout funny. your entire career. Yeah. And failure is inevitable. Mhm. Okay. So this final question of course, it's been a lovely time speaking to you. Uh courtesy of the Colombo Cooperative, we're here right now uh providing modern workspaces for companies of all sizes. And uh they would like to know what your favorite productivity hack is. Um staying busy, staying busy because uh that makes you re- stick to a schedule. and makes you realize that if you don't do your work at that specific time you can't postpone it so you automatically become productive and you do that specific thing at that time because you're so busy you have to awesome so once again samakia where can they find you and uh, uh what are your social media handles okay uh, so you can find my brand samakia it's spelled as s m k y a s on instagram we are also we have the website on www.smkya.com and my social media is samakia awesome so, yeah all right so i'll definitely um catch up with you on that and maybe we could start a program together i think we should <laughs> why not <laughs> all right thank you so much samakia for joining us and thank of course uh, for keeping us company here on the founder so see you next time